All right, so in this clip, I want to talk about showing up on time. And then to, I think to most people, it doesn't seem like it means anything or it matters much, but I think it does. Like, especially if you're looking at businesses or, or entrepreneurs, showing up on time means a lot. And I think we're, like when we're trying to develop trust, morning joy, we're trying to develop trust and we're trying to develop a reputation. I think we have to show up on time, not once in a while, but all the time. And don't get me wrong here. I mean, we've all had been rushed. We've all showed up late. Like, I'm no different. I've showed up late before. You know, it's funny. I used to get in this bad habit of leaving, like, a couple minutes before my appointment because, in most cases, people show up late. So, I'm like, if I'm a couple minutes late, then it'll be okay, even if they show up on time because I'm only a couple minutes late. But it, and that's not the right mindset. And I think the other, the other end of the spectrum is people that don't consider other people. For example, like when I was a personal trainer, I, I would have my appointment set, usually at the top of the hour. And people would show up 10 minutes late, 15 minutes late. They, they, would just, they wouldn't be like rushed, they just kind of show up. And then I, f I would feel obligated to give them their full hour, so go a couple minutes, so 10 minutes after. And then they would be became to, started to, to accept that. But then the people that, then I'd also try to stack up my appointments so I wouldn't have one here, one there. I'd try to do two or three at a time. But then the people that were after me, they had to wait. So that one person wasn't just not considering myself, they weren't considering the next person behind them either. And then so, some, a similar situation came up. Someone was supposed to come by the house and they were gonna pick something up. And they were like two and a half hours late and then they showed up and they were like, and then they weren't like, they weren't, they weren't, they didn't apologize. I don't know if that word is apologetic. They, they didn't apologize. They didn't feel bad. They were just like, oh, could you have that ready for me? Cause I'm running behind. And I'm like, you're running behind. I'm, you're two and a half hours late. So I, I just think it's interesting. And I think it's, unfortunately, I think it's a lack of consideration for the other people. So they just don't, don't think anything of it. And they, and I don't mean that in a negative way. I don't mean like they don't care about the other individual. I think they don't even think about it and they don't consider it. But that's not a positive either because you're not considering another person. So if you have an appointment at quarter two and you show up at 10, you're 15 minutes late and that person's been sitting there waiting 15 minutes. Maybe they showed up five or 10 minutes early. So they could be there for 20, 25 minutes waiting for you. And you just kind of sh like show up and, and not, like a lot of people aren't even rushed when they're late. They're, they're not like, oh, sorry, I got here late. So, I mean, there's a couple things that you can do. I think we should be considered of other people. That's the very first thing. It's, it's an easy, it's a no brainer. Like consider the person that you're meeting with, respect their time and understand that if you're showing up late, you're cutting your meeting short. And many times it takes days, weeks, months to set up a meeting. And if you're going to show up late for it, you're going to have less time to have that meeting. And you're going to have less time to get together and come up with a plan. You're also putting that person late for their next appointment or late for the rest of their day. So consider that. You know, I mean, like, I think time is a commodity that can't be wasted. It's so important. And when people go out of their way to waste your time, we're, we get angry and we get frustrated. So. I think it's very important to respect people's time and understand that everyone is on a schedule regardless of if it's a friend, if it's a business, if it's a family member, if it's business transaction, whatever you're doing, consider the people that you're meeting because they have other things to do as well. I mean, we're all running around like crazy people, but but I really think that we have those people in our lives that were like, "Oh, that's so and so, they're they're going to be 20 minutes late." or they're going to be a half hour late. I, and you know what, I, think, I don't think that's acceptable. I don't think it should be accepted because we're really not considering anyone else but ourselves in a situation like that. So if we didn't just put ourselves first, we only, weren't only considering ourselves, then we wouldn't just randomly show up late. And I think showing up late is a close second to not showing up at all. And not showing up at all is, I don't, like, I don't know, there's not a whole lot of more disrespect I think you can do than that. And I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about showing up to, there's a bunch of people, there's a big party and you just don't show up or something came up, you're like, oh, they won't miss me or maybe they won't even notice you. I'm talking about like a one-on-one -on -one meeting and you just like forget or like, ah, I'm not going today. Like, I think that's crazy how some people just don't show up. And 
I just think it's very challenging to develop business relationships. I think it's challenging for you to run a successful business and make meaningful relationships if you're not considering other people and you're just like, ah, I'm not like I'll show up late or I'll leave on like I'll leave when I'm supposed to be there or uh, I got caught in rush hour traffic. Like these things happen, we understand, but if you're one of those people that are continually late and it's a habit and people kind of expect you to be late, I don't think that's a compliment and I don't think that's a way to run a successful business. I think at the very least, if you're going to be late, you should call in advance and be like, I'm on my way, I got running a little behind. Or hopefully if you can pull over or I'm not a big, not a fan of texting at all, maybe calling, like um, touchless calling. You can call and say, I'm really sorry, I apologize, I want to respect your time, I'm going to be a few minutes late you know, at least tell them in advance so they can know and they can plan like, oh, I'll do something else while I'm waiting for you. Or, well, if you're going to be 20 minutes late and we only had an hour, we're not going to get in, we're not going to get in everything that we wanted to get in in this meeting, so let's reschedule. Like, I think it's okay to reschedule, but I really think that not respecting other people's time is a big problem in our world. And especially when we're develop, trying to develop relationships, business relationships, we're trying to run a business. Like, I've, I've been to businesses where they just close, like back in 15 minutes. And I'm like, how do you expect to develop trust when people come to your place of business and you're just not open? And people, they, they only buy from you before they trust you. So if you're not developing trust, if you're not developing those business relationships or life relationships to improve your life in general, then I think we're, we're fighting an uphill battle that's gonna be very challenging to win. Well, more details in my book, called Random Thoughts for Business Owners and Entrepreneurs. I also do some one-on-one -on -one coaching, so you can hit me up if you're interested. See you on the next one.